22nd October 2020. Our topic for today is dead to flesh. Dead to flesh. Our Bible reading is taken from Romans chapter 6 verses 3 to 8. Um, I'll be reading from the NLT translation. And it says, Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him to his death? For he died and were buried, for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ, so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. And it says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and have crucified them there. Dead to flesh. Dead to flesh. I love this um, topic because it's the fundamental aspect of our work with Christ, our Christian walk. In fact, until you're dead to flesh, it will be difficult for you to obey God the way he expects us to. Now, we may be asking what it means to be dead to flesh. Being dead to flesh actually means simply that um, we're not moved by the things of the world, we're not moved by the issues of life, we're not moved by you know, material things, we're not moved by you know, things that people usually run after obsessions. One of, for, I'll give examples of um, some things that um, people are usually affected by. Material things, for instance, money, obsession, love for money, um, impulse buying. You know, sometimes you find yourself in a supermarket, you went for one item and then you just find yourself buying so many things, different things that you had, you didn't plan for. And then that's how people run into debt, you know, living beyond your, your means and things like that. Um, other things like, um, Food. Some people find it difficult to resist food, and so they can't even fast. In fact, they cannot avoid food to the extent of um, taking care of their health. Sometimes doctors give them, you know, diets and say, oh, eat this and eat that. But because of the love for food, they can't even save their own lives. And the other aspects like um, strife, malice, you know, people castigating you when people correct you or when people castigate you. If you are dead to flesh, such things wouldn't really get to you. And sometimes these things may hurt, but when you're dead to flesh, you are able to rise above them, you're able to overcome them and move on with your life like nothing really, really happened. Now you may ask, how do you die to flesh? You die to flesh by first of all giving your life to Christ. Because as the, um, the Bible reading told us, we died, we died with Christ and rose with Him. And the memory verse told us that when we died with Christ, our sins and all these negative things were nailed to the cross. In fact, that's, that's what I really love, the graphic explanation of, you know, of what the Bible verse or the memory verse tells us. Then also, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. When you find yourself in situations where you are struggling with the temptations and the sins and you know, all sorts of things, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. The Bible says, not by power, not by man, but the Spirit of the Lord. Then also fast and pray. Fasting is one way that you can kill and subdue your flesh. Fasting and prayer. And then also studying the word of God. When you study the word of God, God and his word are the same. You get to understand how to be like him and be like him. So I know it may not be easy, but if you ask God, he will help you. It is my prayer that as you desire to be dead to flesh, and as you desire to live your life for Christ and be like him, that he will help you. He will come to your aid and you will be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a lovely day.